Hey, how's it going, guys? Zedai here. So, uh, one day I simply was scrolling through Twitter or X and I randomly stumbled upon this beautiful, beautiful character within this particular game. So, I started looking a little bit more into it and I found out that this game is a lot bigger than I anticipated. And thankfully, it wasn't one of those gacha games or just simply marketing towards a beautiful female character that you can put on different varieties of clothes and just make her look sexy as possible. And afterwards, when I found out and looked into its gameplay, well, I was gripped, really. It actually reminded me of Nier and also Stellar Blade. And you know, I wanted to ask this question. Is this the next Stellar Blade Eve or the Nier from 2B character? It genuinely would be interesting to see. Afterwards, to finding out about this game that it welcomes to the world of Vindictus Defying Fate, the name of this game, an adrenaline fueled action game currently in the pre alpha stages where every clash is a symphony and every step is a dance with destiny. Immerse yourself in a dark and intense odyssey where you'll face towering adversaries and navigate a 3D world teemed with mystery and danger. Embrace the challenge, embark on your journey, and be part of the saga that defies fate. So, obviously, with this kind of description, or at least about the game, well, it doesn't really tell us much, other than, of course, what we have seen already from so many other Souls-like experiences that are similar settings set just like this game. Experience a combat system that redefines intensity, every battle is a test of skill, strategy and reflexes, engage in a heart-pounding clashes with enemies that dwarf your stature, providing an unparalleled sense of challenge. Really reminds me of Lies of P and perhaps in some ways of Stellar Blade as well. Each character is unique not only in appearance but weapons and combat style, allowing you to choose the combat experience that suits your playstyle and personality. Customize your character with high quality outfits that express your chosen character's persona and speciality. Interesting. Well, like I mentioned already, in terms of the outfits, well, you can really make your character look, well, extremely appealing. Those cupcakes and that bosoms, well, they got to be revealed, don't they? <laughs> A drawing inspiration from the creatures and monsters in Celtic mythology, brace yourself for an epic encounters that demand not just strength but cunning. Learn to adapt, anticipate and attack your foes until you have overcome their legendary prowess in battle. Immerse yourself in a visual stunning 3D world that pushes the boundaries of what's possible in gaming. Traverse diverse landscapes from haunting dungeons to desolated landscapes, each meticulously crafted to enhance the overall gaming experience. Vindictus Defying Fate is currently in a pre-alpha development and unfortunately we do not know how close it is to its release. We don't even know the window. Developed and published by Nexon, and when I did a little more research on Nexon, I actually was a little bit surprised that they are the ones that are making the first Descendant as well. So it makes kind of interesting how the follow-up or these two diversities between these games. And actually, it does make sense. I definitely can see the inspiration between the two and also some of the things that are similar. Not to say it's a bad thing, but I do think it's actually a good thing instead. Now, I have voiced my concerns regarding the first Descendant. I got a big video about that. Do check it out. So, of course, there could be some concerns related to Vindictus Defying Fate. But hopefully, it will live up to the expectations that are perhaps similar to Lies of P, maybe Stellar Blade, perhaps if, if not go insane, such as Nier Automata. You know, I'm, I'm starting to notice a lot more often, a lot of games that have beautiful characters that are at least not to the point of just have, simply having a beautiful look, but no, I mean, really, really trying. But yet somehow they also kind of land on the gameplay department as well. So I'm kind of glad about that. Still, like I mentioned in my vi other videos as well, I would rather have my character looked as best as possible, even a model because that's the kind of ideal character you would want to play. At least that's my kind of expectations. And so seeing it that it's been done within Vindictus Defying Fate is actually good news. But I can definitely see why a lot of people would not agree with this decision as well. Since just to make your character look beautiful, this means you're gonna get your easy cash. But again, if the gameplay is great as well and looks really good, not just the characters, but I'm talking about the world, the enemies, the design, the how it, way it handles itself, everything else within the story included, I think it would actually be a fantastic implementation for this game to have. 
But nevertheless, guys, do let me know as well. What do you think about Vindictus defying fate? Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I see you guys all later.